Next, we'll be doing the elbow examination, which begins with inspection. On inspection, you're looking for any atrophy, any gross skin changes, comparing that to the other side. After inspection, we do palpation. Palpation is a purposeful palpation. On the medial aspect, we're feeling the medial epicondyle. We're feeling the uh, ulnar groove, where the ulnar nerve comes in, sometimes called the, the cubital tunnel area, and you're feeling for any tenderness there. You're feeling for the distal portion of the biceps tendon, looking for any tenderness as it inserts into the radial styloid. On the lateral aspect, we're feeling for the lateral epicondyle. We're feeling for the radial head, and you can pronate and supinate the wrist, and you'll feel the radial head move underneath your finger. Then you're feeling the uh, olecranon, and then there's a triangle made from the lateral epicondyle, the radial head, and the olecranon, and that is the lateral aspect of the elbow joint, and you're feeling for any tenderness there. We've now just done inspection palpation. We would next do range of motion. For range of motion, we would ask our patient to fully flex both elbows and see if there's any abnormality there. Then we'd ask them to fully extend both elbows. And then from that position, we would ask them to pronate, and they would ask them to fully supinate. That would do, be complete our inspection, palpation, and range of motion. Next, we will do strength testing. In strength testing, what we would do is to test the integrity of flexion. We would resist flexion. And then with the patient fully flexed, we would uh, resist extension. And then we would do a hand grip. And we're going to go ahead and test uh, supination. And we'd say, don't let me turn you out. And now we'll do pronation, try to turn your hand in. And that would uh, test the strength. You can do neurovascular testing. Um, but we've already done that as part of our C-spine. It is never wrong to check the radial and ulnar pulse uh, if you're worried about that. Next, we'll move to our special test for the elbow, and that would uh, test for the uh, lateral epicondyle pain are your extensors. With the elbow flexed and with the wrist fully extended, you can ask the patient to resist extension. If that causes pain, uh, that is indicative of lateral epicondyle pain. You can further exacerbate that by having the patient fully extend their wrist Ask, asking them to resist extension, and you can further isolate that also by uh, resisting on just two fingers. And again, that's testing the extensor carpi radialis brevis and the extensor carpi radialis longus. And then finally, you can do a Tenel's test at the uh, cubital tunnel, testing for the ulnar nerve by tapping on that ulnar nerve and seeing if they get reproduction of their symptoms along the ulnar nerve distribution. And that would complete our elbow examination.